that I still have the lead in the Harvester count, even though he's got the three base against just my one base. Almost two. There we go. Two is up. Almost full energy on the Orbital Command because I am so oversaturated on those minerals because I needed to move out and expand earlier. And instantly, not even going to mine off that first one. First, I want to get Missile Turrets. Look at that IQ 5 up because that SCV is pro and he works overtime. Morphing into an Orbital Command. So I should be seeing a transfer. There we go. What is he going for? He is sticking with the mass burrowed zerglings along with some banelings. I'm not sure what that build is. It is purely defensive. That I do know. Uh, there's no way that a burrowed uh, zergling can do any offense against me. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that. Burrowed zerglings cannot attack or move until they're unburrowed. You learn something new every day. Uh, four of me is still alive. Uh, almost full health on all of them. But here I do think, uh, yes, here I go for the move. Uh, going to be going for the main attack, my first one of the day. And I go, hey, Mutas! Letting the siege tanks get a little of the damage. But that's all right. Healing up and then moving back out. I do wait uh, uh, for the Metavex to heal him up. Here I split my units. Uh, that was not on purpose. Uh, from now, this is something I don't do this game, in, but that I will be uh, at least attempting to try to remember to do from later games. Uh, bring one Raven just to take out those uh, those creep tumors. And here I walk right into his trap, of course. Um, I've been saying this whole time that I could walk right through here and take out this expansion. So that's why he buried the bur the banelings there. Up come the banelings, up come the zerglings. Massive amounts of damage going down. Who is going to get the better of it? It looks like I am going to win this. Uh, he was unable to get a bit a good surround. All those tanks were able to take out a lot of those Zerglings while they continued to decide who they wanted to attack. Uh, but these Mutas are going... Are they going to be able to finish off the Marines in time? It doesn't look like they're focusing now, just switching to the Marines. Two Mutas left. They should be taking out those Marines... There we go, but I do have a couple Marauders and a Siege Tank up. And there he is, finally going for the tank. But he's getting massive damage on the Extractor. It's so important to get the Extractor. Don't go for the Extractor. Three Marauders still up. Gonna try to go for the Hatchery. Can I do it? No, those Zerglings will prevent that. But I still have quite a few units left in my base. And Thor's on the way. Have we seen Thor's from me before? We have, but I don't believe we've seen it against Zerg. Thor is so good against Mutas, especially against players uh, this low that might not know about the magic box tricks. Magic box trick. I know my plurals. Uh, okay, for those of you that don't know, magic box trick. Cannot find any Mutas on the field. Are there any left? There are two somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to use this queen as an example. Let's say there are a whole bunch of queens here. Oh, there's some mutas. What you do is you select all your mutas, you right-click somewhere in the middle, they bunch up, and then start to spread out. And they form a box. You want to stay... It, you want to keep them in that box so when you move them they will stay in that box and then you can attack the Thors the way that you do it is you do not attack the Thor directly you don't click a and then attack or attack move or anything like that what you do is you just simply right click past the Thor and then stop them over the Thor that way the splash damage on the Thor will be reduced um, I don't know exactly how much splash damage is transferred, 
uh, from that Thor. I believe it is, works similar to the siege tank, which is about half and then a quarter, depending on how far away you are from the initial hit. But the Thor splash damage is what makes it so good against Mutas when they are bunched up. But if you use that magic box trick, I'm not saying that it will uh, be the best uh, counter to Thors, but it will help a lot. And here comes the Thors and Siege Tanks. Mew, uh, Baneling's trying to get morphed in. It doesn't look like any of them are going to finish, though. No, one does finish and explodes, takes out that Marine. And here you see he did not do the Magic Box tricks. That Thor will go down, though, because there were five of them, but not... Oh, does it even go down? No, so that... The, one Thor was able to take out five Mutas almost single-handedly. Those Marines came much later. Here I go for a scan just to make sure there's no more Borrowed units. I'm tired of the Banelings popping up. Um, but as you can see, that Magic Box trick uh, would be so effective. Thors are the counter, though, for Mutas if your opponent does not know how to do that trick. He survives with 28 HP, and here I'm just going for the kill. Thanks to the siege tanks, really. Look at that. Finishing off the drones. They're almost mined out of his main. Uh, now he's oversaturated. Finally oversaturated on one of his bases. Uh, but uh, far too late in the game. 22 minutes is not way too late to still have stuff in your main. As you can see, I've been out for some time here. Uh, those SCVs should be moving over, but they probably won't because I'm too busy focusing on this. And here I go. Oh, so I let's go for the main. Uh, really, it should be uh, usually the last place you go for uh, at this point in the game because it is so late, and I assume it's the most well defended because he's that's where all his tech should be, and it clearly is. He does have an infestation pit out, but I have not seen any infestors out. And there he does GG and leaves the game. So, uh, new tactic for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned from it. Uh, Thors in Siege Tanks. That is something that, as far as I can remember, that you have not seen, especially used so well. That Thor was so effective. I did end up getting the upgrade on it on... Um, yeah, Thor's hammer. Oh my goodness. Th seven damage, 14 against light, and I do believe Mulus are light, so 14 damage uh, with that upgrade. 33 against ground units. Oh, good lord, that is awesome. I love Thor's, uh, but they do take a while to build, and you do need that armory out. But I did hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you learned something. Hope you laughed. Hope to see you next time. Hit subscribe if you like. Let me know how you liked the, the video or how you disliked it. See you next time.